Hey y'all, headed to this restaurant called Shea Poon. It's pretty highly rated on Yelp, so I'm excited. Just gonna relax, drink water, I'm very dehydrated, and then head shopping. There's nothing quite like being complimented by chic French women. Oh, I feel like a million bucks. I really do. This woman walked up to me and she's speaking French, but I could understand what she was saying because I know robe is like dress. And she was like, your robe, your robe, and hey. And I was like, oh, that means pretty. My, my dress is pretty. So I was telling her it's from ASOS. I didn't know how to use French letters. I just said A-S-O-S. -S. She was like, oh, mais oui, mais oui. I was like, eh, oui, oui. So I'm just so happy. The French are accepting my wardrobe. And that is one step until they accept me. I just need to learn French. Then I'm in there. I went to a Louis Vuitton or a place I thought was a Louis Vuitton. There was nothing there. Maybe they had one at some point, but there was not one there now. It was a fruit stand. So now I'm taking the train to one of the 10 that are in the city. Yes, there are like 10 Louis Vuittons in Paris, which makes sense. So I'm taking the train to that one to see if I can figure out this whole bag situation. It is 1.50 p.m. Had a wonderful meal, feeling a little tired, hoping I can be home by like four. I think that's aggressive, but I'm tired. So yeah, I think this is my train. I'll see you all at Louis Vuitton. Hopefully they can figure out this whole mess and get me my bag. I'm thinking positively. Hi, you guys. Oh my goodness. I wanted to be back here at four. I probably got back here around like five and then I showered and I just sat down. My feet, oh, Charlie was, ah, oh, oh, oh. My body's like giving up on me <laughs> because it's not used to this much activity, which is actually very sad. It shows that I should definitely be working out more. I have 14,000 steps today, all while carrying like very heavy bags. Basically today was kind of a fail and kind of not. So I started by going to where I thought a Louis Vuitton store was. That's what it said on Apple Maps. Ooh, Apple Maps. I get there and <laughs> it's a fruit stand. So then I'm like, okay, where's the closest Louis Vuitton? So I just route it and don't even really look. It's the same Louis Vuitton store that's inside of Galerie Lafayette from the day before that overwhelmed me and made me feel crazy. So I ended up at the same exact place. Sorry, I'm getting like a storage warning, yikes. But it was a lot better today. There weren't as many people, so I got to shop and just enjoy like in a way that was a lot more chill. Um, I made a few purchases, a few perfume purchases today. Today was my perfume day. So I'll show y'all that. And then if my storage doesn't freak out, then I'll also show, show y'all my Saint Laurent purchase and my Fendi purchase which I'm very excited about so let me show y'all what I got from the mall so of course y'all have finally got me on the Baccarat Rouge train this is the packaging that it comes in with his name I'm not going to butcher that but I got Baccarat Rouge 540 I did the smaller one because I already have enough fragrances so here's that and I believe it was I can't even remember how much it was I'll overlay the price once I figure that out I think it was in the 70s or 80s. I think it was 84 or 100. So I don't know. We'll see. And then I stopped by this place called Byredo. Byredo? By guys, I don't know. But you guys had recommended it. And so I stopped by and got a set of um, their travel size fragrances. Sorry, it's very loud in Paris today. So it comes in this and you get to pick three. And um, it was $84 for all three of them. Here's what it looks like. I smelled like 15 different fragrances. These were three of my favorites. They didn't have this in one of them that I really wanted. It was like velvet something, velvet haze, but they didn't have it in this size. And I don't have any more room in my luggage. Like I really don't. So um, Bald the Freak, Black Saffron, and Mojave Ghost are three amazing. 
I don't even know how to explain how amazing these scents are. Like one is like nighttime sexy, that's the black saffron. Mojave Ghost is like, I just, I don't know how to explain it to you. I'll do a whole nother video on fragrances if that's what y'all are interested in, but these, like this has to be like one of my favorite fragrance brands right now. And I don't step outside of my box. I do not step outside of my fragrance box, okay? Because I have what I like and I like what I like, but I don't know, it was very easy to kind of get caught up in it today because, oh, that's so sweet. She gave me a sample size of Velvet Haze since that's all they have, but yeah. This was at Gallery Lafayette. So those are the two things that I got there. I will get a tax return refund for them for like 22 euros or something like that. But you know what? That's 22 euros, I have that. And then I decided to stop at Mango and I didn't go crazy. I just got a few little things. I thought this purse was really cute. I don't know, just like a cute little bag and it was 26 euros. And then um, I got these earrings, which I thought were also really cute. These were 16 euros. I don't know, just very like chill. And then this came off the little thing, but this is like a chain link bracelet. So it goes like that. And I just thought that that was really cute. So yeah, that's everything that I got today. The Louis Vuitton store was an L, unfortunately. The only one they have available in all of France, they ha are showing they have one available in Monaco. So I'll do a little bit of research to see how much a train would be to Monaco. And maybe that's something I can do this week. But I also have her number now and she was saying like, since you have three weeks left here, it's very possible that we could get more in and so you're not having to like go chase down a bag in Monaco. I wouldn't mind going to Monaco though. <laughs> and then I'll also like, maybe if I go to Dublin or Rome or, or London, that's something I can do. I probably wouldn't do London and Dublin. Oh, well, I probably wouldn't do Biden and London just because the tax situation, I'm not, quite sure what that would look like. Like given Brexit, I don't know. So yeah, that's everything that I got today. I was pretty, oh, I also stopped at Zara and got a couple of things. I don't know that they're just like so great that I should show you guys unless you like really wanna see them. I mean, I can, one sec. Okay, so I just got a few items from Zara, nothing crazy. I will be getting a tax refund on this too. I got this like sleeveless sweater. I just feel like green is very in right now. It's like a cropped green sweater looks really nice and I'd like pair it with like probably like jeans and some some neon heels and then in the same vein another just like racer back kind of top that looks really cute with like shorts throw a blazer over it um, that sort of thing and the first sweater was $29.95 euros. The second top was $12.95. And then I got these. These are like not my usual style, but I feel like I get in these like really like lassie moods sometimes. And these just kind of gave me like Chanel vibes. And I thought they were super cute because of the color like being hot pink. So I got these and I think I'd just pair with like flats and like a, a loose white tank and it would be really cute. Um, and these were $49.95 euros. Last two items, I got a belt. I thought this like detailing was like this angularity was like weird and, and cool. And then lastly was just a hot pink top. I feel like we all need a good like high quality button down in our lives. And this was that for me in hot pink. So here's that. It has oh, something on it. No. It has this like nice stitching on it that I really like. And so it's just like um, you know, a button down that is kind of long, but then these also like flare at the end, which I really like. So overall, I thought it was really cute and I can layer it or it can be a piece on its own. This is actually a double XL because I like my um, tops to be really big and like baggy and like oversized so I can tuck in inside jeans, but it's not like fitted on me. Um, So this is a double XL. Honestly, it does not feel like a double XL. European sizes, honey. It fits more like maybe an XL. So, and it was 39.95 euros. So I'd say probably spent maybe like 130, maybe 150 euros there. That's everything from today. So next stop is unboxing the Saint Laurent. Without further ado, my new baby that I got yesterday actually from the mall. This is 
what she came in from Saint Laurent. It's a massive ugh, bag. But um, yeah, let's walk through it. So basically, this was a really interesting purchase. Ugh because originally they actually didn't want to let me buy it and i've heard of that happening and i've i've had it happen to me once before at louis vuitton like if you're not a certain level of like i guess member that spends like x amount per year they won't let you buy certain things like certain products are like reserved for the highest tier I've never purchased from St. Laurent, so. So at first she wouldn't let me buy it at all. So this is what it came in, this massive dust bag. At first she wouldn't let me buy it. She looked at my information, she didn't see me in the system, and she was like, I'm sorry, like, I'm not able to sell this bag to you. And I was like, well, that doesn't really make any sense. I came all this way. Okay, y'all, that was very annoying. I lost storage. Like, literally, it wouldn't let me record anymore because I didn't have any more space. But I'm back. So this is the bag, like I was saying. Um, I was having a really tough time with her trying to get it because I had never purchased from St. Laurent before and this is one of those bags that's, that are kind of reserved for, I guess, the folks that are a little more upper echelon in their organization. But I was just pushing her and pushing her and pushing her and I'm like, look, I'm right here. I want to buy the bag. I don't see why that's a problem. Can we speak with your manager? I was one of those. But yeah, this is the dust bag and eventually manager came out said like yes at this point like you're here we get it we understand we'll let you purchase the bag and i'm like not me sitting here begging to spend my money but i wasn't begging but i was just like i really want to understand i don't like i literally don't get it this is the bag oh she's a big girl the back doesn't have anything on it that's what i wish i wish both sides had it but i'm loving the like gold embossing of the ysl the large quilted leather. I wasn't sure how this leather would feel. I wanted to make sure it felt like really luxurious and not like cheap and so because i'll be using this as a travel bag i want something that's sturdy especially the handles so i actually like that these are quilted handles and not something like thin but overall i think it's really nice let me um pull up the deets too just so that i can give y'all a little more information on it basically um this is what they're calling the maxi shopping bag if i dig in here and pull out the paper it also has a like quilted, <clears throat> excuse me, removable zipped pouch. So you can take the zip pouch out with this toggle. And so you can kind of keep the most important stuff in there and then everything else can just be loose. So I'll take all this out to show you what it looks like inside. Black on the inside, literally looks like a black hole. Has um, a zipper opening right here for whatever you want to put in there. Pretty regular inside. Love the quilted over stitching as they call it. And apparently this is the new sculpted jewel YSL iconic signature. It has this like, I don't know, this like embossing. It has like a 3D nature to it. So super pretty bag. I'm really in love with it. I think it's going to be great to just like use as a travel bag and all that. It feels uh, sturdy, strong, but also luxurious. I'm really happy with my purchase. As far as pricing, I paid 3,500 euros and I will be receiving a tax refund of a little over 300, I think it's like 360 euros. So overall, I will have paid around 3,100 euros for this. It's currently on the YSL website in the US for 4,400. So I'm buying this for um, about $1,300 less than what I would have in the United States. Like this is, it's like the shopping here <laughs> is, is like wild. It just doesn't even make sense how much money I'm saving on things. So at first I was like, dang girl, you going kind of hard over here. But then I, when I started, actually I made a little spreadsheet. I was like, dang, like the savings are really crazy. So, um, I love this bag. It's called the, it's I-C-A-R-E. I care, I care, I, I don't know. I care, it's Italian, so maybe not, I don't know. But um, I love it very, very much, and I'm really excited to wear it as a travel bag in the future. So if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> so thanks for coming along with me for the unboxing.